hello everyone and today we will be going through this blog and installing c++ compiler and also cph in vs code so the most common problem in mac os is that whenever you use bits by stdc++.h you get some error that the file is not present or it's not in the include directory and then you cannot compile your code when you are doing competitive programming so today we will see that and this is the blog you can follow the blog and then you can also uh, set up this on your own system okay so on a basic overview we will be creating the bits folder then we will be creating the stdc++ file we will be installing the gcc compiler we will configure the vs code and at last we will install the cph extension so you can start by opening your terminal so let me open the terminal where is it okay here is it and simply copy this code So here you can see that we have something like this at the output. So in some of the Mac OS, you just need to open this one, this path, create a bits folder, create a stdc++.h file and add the code there. In some, you need to add the folder and the file in this path. So depending upon on your system, you can add in the both if one is not working then in the second one currently i will be adding it here so simply cd it let me zoom it and then here we need to make so you can see the output like this then you need to go to this one or you can simply go to this one also depending so in some cases this will also work in some this did not work then you can try this cd to this path make a new folder enter the password cd to bits okay so i missed here adding cd to bits so now click on nano not click on simply create a new file you will simply copy this after copying it simply command v then control o you will get a pop up uh, you will get a what we say the hint to save the file press enter and then control x now when you do ls you will get to see stdc++.h and when you do pwd you will see the complete path after this you can simply install vs code once vs code is installed simply open it close this click on file open folder and I have this one and I trust myself here I have a cp file which is this one and if you are installing it for the first time you will see recommended extensions install it and and 
and once it is done you will see something like this so when you click on stdc++.h you will get the folder here so when you do command click then only you will get into that folder into that file okay so now you are uh, you aren't seeing any warnings here that's great but now if you do this to see what are the g++ installed on your system you can see it's in the opt homebrew bin g++ 14 so i would recommend you to install it via homebrew so it's the easiest way and if you get output like this just install brew install gcc and then you will and then when you run this you will get the output like this you can also see the images attached here So now let me try compiling this. So you can see I am not getting any here, error here. And also I am not getting any warnings here. Let me also try running it via this one. So you can see you can see multiple configuration so try to use the homebrew so once you run this you will see build finished successfully so you, you are not getting any error here that's great now sometime in your uh, workspace directory you will see something like this okay which i have shown it in here which is dot vs code folder and then in that you will see c underscore cpp property dot json here previously it was compiler path as user bin c lang but as of now you can see it's in the home review itself so in case you have user bin c lang and it's not working you can try changing to home review the plus plus 14th version you can also try to change the intelligence mode in case you are getting some error here currently i have mac os c line arm 64 so depending upon the intelligence mode and the compiler path you will get errors here that the file is not present even though when you compile it it will uh, get compiled and you will see the output with no errors but intelligence will give you some errors and warnings okay so this looks good after this so currently when i was doing this i had my compiler path as this one so i changed it to homebrew and you can also see the error was gone from the bits std c++ earlier i was getting error like this that it's not in the include path so i have included all the images as well after this we need to install the cph extension you can go to your extension and just search cph and install it so whenever you do competitive programming from code forces or code chef or add coder this is very helpful so when you do run all you will see some errors here and it won't compile so how to fix this, fix this? simply go to settings and search cph so we go to settings not extensions but settings cph here you will see something as command so here you will see cvp command 
so I will add G plus plus hyphen 14 because this was compiling on my system depending upon your system you can use only G plus plus if it's getting compiled or C lang or G plus plus 10 hyphen 10 so in my system it was getting compiled with G plus plus 14 you can see here and once you do this and close this and if you run it now you will see a test case is passed now if I change something you will see wrong answer okay so it's all working and I have added it step by step in the image as well so this is how you can install GCC and uh, CPH in VS Code and Mac OS. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it and this will solve all, all your errors.